Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Xenoblade 3. I am going to start the DLC today, and I just smacked my mic because I needed to scratch my chin. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. But anyways, I've had a very busy week. Holy shit. Um, I'm tired. But hey, I'm here, and it's story time. Story time. Um, oh, holy shit. I watched the trailer for this DLC, and OMG, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Uh, I play the OG game on normal. I will play this on normal. I can still change it to easy if I want, which I probably won't unless it's like super duper hard and I'm a big bitch baby and I need to put it on easy, but I highly doubt that's gonna happen. But let's go. Why? Is this really what you want? Elvis! Drop it, Hulk! <gasps> Nothing's gonna get through to him! Oh my god. He's Daddy a heartless Rex. machine! <laughs> we have to try! Fascinating. <gasps> Is this how badly you wish to erase us? What? My god. I know. Rex is hot. Why? <laughs> What's up, Super Gamer Guy? Welcome to the stream. Why is Zed there, though? Oh my god. I have so many questions already. Oh my god, the music. Hell yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> That's what happens when you get three wives. Yeah. I told you we should have left alone. But you had to stick your oar in, didn't you? Matthew. Daddy Matthew, okay. Let All the guys in this are gonna be daddies. I first things first. <sighs> You're impossible. Okay, we're just punching? Okay, I see you, Matthew. I see you. Apparently. Kyra Mithra's voice actor said she doesn't accept that Rex is the father of all of them, but I say that's some serious Kobe. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But all right, so we're Ouroboros again, apparently. Uh, in Future Redeemed, the right side of the arts palette contains a character's normal arts, while the left side is where you'll find their Ouroboros powers. Okay. Orbor's powers manifest themselves through special arts, which are significantly more powerful than normal arts. Obviously. We knew this. We knew this. Uh, heart attack. Boop him in the face! And these things we were fighting at the end of the game, too. Oh, she's a healer. Okay. Who is this? A? Her name is literally A. I am level one. That doesn't make any sense. Ooh. You won't believe how strong I can get. And 
I wish I would have finished <sighs> Torna. Third rate Mobius arsewipe made us bloody work for it. What was that? That thing at the end. What thing at the end? You mean the Ouroboros power? Nice touch, eh? <laughs> what I'm asking is why you felt the need to use it at all. The scrap was already falling apart. I mean, that was the last chance to, like, kapow, right? <laughs> I had to make sure it's a good one. Leaves a bad taste, otherwise, the whole rest of the day. <sighs> Mobius track it, you know. The Ouroboros power. You need to keep a lid on it, like I keep telling you. It was only a little whiff. All fine in the end. We won, so what's the damage? Less of the lectures. The word you should have used is fewer. Grammar matters. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> I kind of like her already. <sighs> Another day without any signals. Time to pack it in, then. Huh? After all our efforts, we've not met a single survivor from the city. Huh. You promised me back then, remember? That we'd find every last citizen. Aw, uh, who died? Well, I'm not stopping. I won't quit. Not until I've done just that. Let's move on. Tomorrow will be our lucky day. I can feel it. Vermilion Woods. What is this, Pokemon? Come on. It'll be night soon. The fight earlier will have taken its toll. We should find somewhere to rest before sundown. Agreed. Also, I'm bloody starving. Let's camp round here for today. Oh, we leveled up. So what's his job? Martial artist. And she's a Monado Fencer, bitch. I'm playing as her. Monado Fencer, that's dope as hell. I can take the mantle. Wow, her hair is really fluid. That's kind of cool. So I did look up like the completion time. Whoa, okay. Anyways, I looked up the completion time for this, and if you just do and focus on the main story, it should be like seven and a half to eight hours. But if you want to do everything, it's more like 30. I was like, God damn, that's a huge, huge difference. But anyways, future redeem visions. A's talent art vision has some special effects. One enemy attacks will not affect the party for a set time, and two, the number of times you can use it for battle is limited. Okay. Hey, DJ. Thanks for the lurk, homie. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, number three, while vision is in effect, A's talent art changes to vanishing end, an attack which hits all enemies. So, it pauses enemy attacks and then once the timer runs out, it does like a mass spread AoE. That's kind of dope. Like other talent arts, Vanishing End is also charged by performing roll action. Roll action. In particular, using light field will contribute to building recharge. Oh no, you can use it again to use the AoE. Oh. Well, vision is in effect. Okay, I can't read. But you have to earn it. Basically, just activate the field bubble to get it. Okay. Vision is a powerful tool, but since its number of uses is limited, take care of use it and you'll get the most out of it. So basically, use it now. Great. That wasn't too taxing. Ha ha! Good going! Damn, she's so cool. 
Affinity goals. In future redeemed, leveling up isn't the only way to strengthen Matthew and his crew. Accomplishing affinity goals and spending the affinity points they grant is another. Let's check the details of your affinity goals. First, select affinity goals. Okay. Uh, oh. Affinity goals are split into six categories and are achieved in the field and in battle. Achieving them grants affinity points which can be spent to empower party characters. The completionist dream. Indeed. That's a lot. If only I enjoyed playing three enough to complete it. Uh, right. <laughs> Earn affinity points by discovering treasure troves and locations in the various areas of the world and so on. Earn affinity points in battle by defeating unique monsters that inhabit locations around the world, among other ways. So like gold boys and uncovering the map and shit. Earn points by viewing events that occur at various locations in the world of Ionios. These let you listen to the party's conversation while enjoying the game. It's kind of like the same shit in Xenoblade 1, where you had like the, uh, the special friendship areas that you could go into and have like actual special scenes with that one person. Earn affinity points by meeting residents of various areas of Ionios and completing community tasks. Earn points by defeating a set number of the many monsters that populate the various areas of the world. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming that it is. Heart to hearts. Those things. Earn points by gathering collectibles in each area of the world and registering them in the Collectipedia. You can highlight each node to see more information about it. Blah, blah, blah. So we're going to Enemypedia. Wow. Oh, okay. Hey, welcome to the stream, Ascended Card. How are you? Welcome to the stream. I know, right? If only every game had this. Like, fight these monsters and get something for it. Affinity goals are a key feature of Future Redeemed. Always keep them in mind as you explore. So I need to fight three more and then I get something cool. That's pretty dope, though. I wish this was in the main game. That would give me more of a reason to actually fight things instead of walking around it. You know what I mean? Oh, to track the damage uniques? Right. I mainly would want it to track if you found all the uniques and killed them all. That is a good point. Enemypedia 2. Monsters already registered in the Enemypedia will be marked with a little symbol, while completed entries will show another little symbol. Unregistered monsters will not have either of these icons. If you spot a monster not marked with either of those icons, do try fighting it and keep filling in your Enemypedia. That's nice. Monsters that are higher level than you will be displayed in yellow on the Enemypedia screen. Those whose level is significantly higher will be red, like in the main game. If they're around your level, they will be white. Just like this. Focus your doggy. Ow, my face. Break. Kneel. Get him. Did you touch my healer, motherfucker? The bonus with killing enemies is cute, but not Light. really bad. But I want the full. Oh, nice job, Ow, my face. Did you just scan some right there, Coco? Oh, punk ass wolf? A is super weird. She's a healer, but she has a top a lot and is a sword user. That is pretty weird. I was thinking that earlier. 
detonating hit. Revolt uppercut. Looks like we can close that on the PD entry. From the main menu, character's affinity grow to use earned affinity points to make party characters stronger. Affinity points are shared by the entire party. Furthermore, only one tier of purchasable abilities will be available from the start. Specific items are needed to unlock further tiers. Huh. Okay. Try to consider the party, uh, the entire party's priorities as you decide which characters to empower and which skills to purchase. Well, then let me move until I open the menu. Select Affinity Growth. Okay, thank you very much. Choose to learn the skill Attack Plus. But what are these? Initiative Effect Acceleration. Start a battle with an attack from the back. Grants the whole party fast recharge. I want that more! Fine. Got a new skill! Got a new skill! You can buy more nodes if you have the affinity points. So lock tiers can be opened by using unlock kits. Okay. I think pretty much feels like playing Laura without the swapping the blades. So good, but nothing strange. Laura was cool though. I liked her. Do -do -do -do. Affinity scene. You may discover locations in the world which can trigger an affinity scene. These allow you to admire the scenery while your companions enjoy a little chit-chat. You can trigger an affinity scene by approaching its location and holding down ZR to start it. Hmm. See, the Sent Omnia region we're in now. It's smack in the middle of Ionios, yeah? Yes, that assessment is correct. Right, so if we captured this area... Couldn't we raid the other regions pretty much at will? This is the only place connected to the other four regions at once, right? Which means that conversely, it can also be attacked from all four sides. Ah, uh, yeah, there's that. But I'll admit that it does have the strategic value that you ascribe to it. It's an undeniable fact that both Kevis and Agnes are desperate to gain control of this region. The positional advantage of having access to all other regions may make the attendant risks more palatable. I see, I see. <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> hey, we got those affinity points, man. Let's go. What level are we? We're four. Damn, we leveled up fast. Okay, let's go fight some level five shit and see if we can't level up again. Uh, we need to fight these things anyway. All right. Come here, boy! Look at this deer. Way <laughs> turn around. Get him. Light. What? we not Oh no. Revolt <laughs> Ow, damn. Fucking deer. Ow, my face. Damn, Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I'm so dead. This was no bueno situation. Oh, my God. I'm running. <laughs> this was silly. Oh no. R.I.P. I died die. already. It feels rather we unique to have a character well into their hope. 20s to be a main character. If I recall, she was 27. Laura was 27? Wow. I didn't realize she was that old. I forget how we found out that exact number. I think she says she awakened Jin at 10 and had been with him for 17 years. So she kind of indirectly gave away her age. Yeah. Interesting. All right, let's try this fucking deer again. Come here, bitch. you. Cunt. Cunty deer. Mighty strike. Get him. Revolt. Mighty strike. 
Okay, let's check the affinity goals, I guess. So every area is gonna have a new thing of monsters. Do we not get anything, or does this whole page have to be complete before we get anything cool? And so that cursed image at the end of 3, I kind of used that time frame as confirmation that Blades couldn't have or create kids. Because 17 years, no oopsies? I think not. But then again, maybe Klaus changed something at the end with his final gift. Hard to say. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. It is pretty crazy, though. And it's some bullshit. Like... Just, it's so dumb to me. But hopefully, I will learn how they actually manage to have Come kids. Here, because blades are immortal until their, like, little crystals are destroyed, right? Like... I don't, I don't understand it. Let me get these little bunnets. The outcome was patently obvious. Oops, let me get that shiny. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Mighty strength! Freak! Neil! No one who both get in the business. Hey, Josh, what is up, good sir? How are you doing? Welcome to my stream. Let me have a look. I'm going in. You lot watch my back. We need them out of the picture. These fish got back. Good, Neil will be able to have his head. She is a flesh eater, that is correct. She's half human, so the human part would have a kid. Nothing hard to understand there. That takes care of that. I could have done that one handed. Those bunnies are done. Oh my god, we can climb. We can climb without Voldy. Thank you, Jesus. You're fantastic, thanks. How am I doing? I am doing okay, actually. Alright. This will be a good place for a rest. But yeah, I haven't been able to stream. Night has caught up with us. We had better make haste setting up camp. All week, because Evelyn has been sick. <sighs> Fucking... This kid can't catch a damn break, I'll tell ya. She has had strep now four fucking times this, this year in the last two and a half months. Since, like, the middle of March. She started getting sick. Like, every every time I would take her in, she would get diagnosed with strep. And she'd be fine for about two weeks. And then she'd catch that shit again. Not even joking. And then now, um, this week... She started having, like, these red dots all over her fucking hands and on, on her heels, on her feet. I was like, what the fuck is this? And she kept, she was, like, inconsolable. Like, this shit was so itchy for her. And I thought it was chicken pox, but it didn't look like the pictures on Google when I searched for it. And I was like, oh my god, if this is what I think it is, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. Because she was at her dad's this past weekend, and shit didn't start appearing until Monday. So I really think that she caught that shit, like, over the weekend. I was so mad. <laughs> this poor thing. <sighs> so dumb. And hey, Toast, welcome to the stream, sir. How you doing? I hope she gets better, too, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She's doing better now. They finally gave her some fucking steroids to help just kick everything in the ass. Man, they should have done that the last time she had strep throat. So stupid. But yeah. And then she went to the dentist yesterday and she was supposed to have uh, a cavity pulled. But that didn't happen. <laughs> like, of course not. And it's hot as shit up here, guys. I'm going to turn my air back on. Goodness.
can't not have that on. You got strep threat, uh, strep, strep throat once. It was no bueno. Jesus, if I can fucking talk today. Christ. <sighs> yeah, that shit is no fun. No fun at all. Hmm. <sighs> But yeah, anyways, game. <laughs> Trying to find a camp. That's what we're doing. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. We are homies. Yes, we are. <sighs> Super gamer guy, you didn't have strep throat, but you've had your throat burned by acid reflux. Jesus. You literally couldn't talk for three days because your throat was so messed up? Damn. That sucks. And toast, they eventually gave you codeine cough syrup? Oh my god, that shit is amazing. It just basically numbs your whole throat. <laughs> and I appreciate you, Josh. Thank you. And likewise, good sir. I know you're going through it too. Damn, so here, I'm assuming that Matthew is the brother of N. But, like, back then, his name wasn't Noah, it was Niall. <sighs> and, like, he went bad. <gasps> but we know N's story. But who is this bitch? Who are you? Oh, damn. She's got fire puppies. And boobies that bounce. Let's fucking go. <laughs> See, the A's too flat. I want bigger titties sky, than that, man. Matthew. Suppose I should thank you, then, for letting me sleep in. Sleeping on the ground. I've never seen anyone make it look quite so comfortable. I worry. Grandad and I did a lot of camping out, back when I was a kid, I mean. It don't bother me. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> the D! What's that signal? I know what you mean. Ping from a city <laughs> iris. Come on, A. So A's earring looks a lot like um, Pyra and Mithra's fucking stone on their chest. So we we have an X reader apparently. Matthew's handheld terminal is called the X reader. It responds to signs of city survivor presence, notifying you with sound and light. <laughs> Good old vitamin dick. <laughs> Hell yeah. If I recall, you didn't play Definitive. Oh no, that's the only Xenoblade one that I've played. I played the Definitive Edition, yes. I never played the OG Xenoblade one for the Wii. Nope. Never even heard of it until um, Funky actually recommended me play. I was just like, oh my god, that game sounds amazing. And I bought it. <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. When a signal is detected, a notification chime will sound and one side of the minimap will light up. Okay, so it's just like a general area on where our homies are. 
I know Funky played the original because I remember seeing his playthrough way back when. He did play the original, and I think it was about a year or two ago when he finally played the definitive edition. So he got all the good updated graphics and all like the quality of life stuff, for sure. <laughs> he did recommend me play on God. Yep. <laughs> As you head in the indicated direction and get closer to your target, the entire rim of the mini map will glow. As you get closer, the chime will become louder and more frequent, so use those clues to find every last one of City Survivors. Okay, so I'm assuming once I have found all the homies, the ring will stop glowing. Right, right. Give me that wood, baby! Thank you! <laughs> Thirsty oak! <laughs> oh, the innuendos! Did I play Future Connected? No. Um, at the end of my playthrough, Xenoblade 1, I did start it. And then I decided to do it in my own time, which was kind of dumb. But, uh... Um, oh, look! A container. The should be worth retrieving. It has relevant info now. I did end up actually watching Funky's playthrough of it. Because he played it, um... I think he played it straight after he played through Definitive, if I'm correct. He's not here at the moment. He went to the store. Oh my god, the Bennett aggroed on me? He's like, you killed my homies? And I'm just like, hell yeah, I did. What? Get him. <laughs> Funky be like, yo, let's roleplay, girl. Put on the cat ears and take off everything else. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, nice. <laughs> Very light font. Found it. Oh shit, there's homies here. Um. Oh, ether channels are in this too. Dope, 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 dope. Okay. Oh, <gasps> cutscene. Oh. Aww. Dead homie. That sucks. And they did mention Mobius earlier in a cutscene with these two. Damn. Judging by the wounds, it probably wasn't Mobius. Probably monsters. Caught him unawares. I'm sorry. This is my fault. If I woke you up, we might have made it. Oh. It isn't your fault, eh? I shouldn't have been dozing like a div. We could have helped you, friend. I'm sorry. You could put this cattail somewhere. It looks like a butt plug. <laughs> oh my god, that reminds yeah, me. I that, saw. Um, I mean, I'm not. But right now, we gotta keep moving. I think it was like a Facebook reel of like this girl. She had like a rainbow lit up butt plug, and she was on the back of an ATV, and she was like doing stunts and shit. And she obviously was not wearing any pants. It was like a really high skirt around her waist, and she kept like jumping up and down and shit and you could totally see the butt plug so and it was nighttime <laughs> i was like god damn i'm not brave enough for that <laughs> i'd break my neck i know whole different conversations here i know right there are bunny figures called reverse bunny where the suit literally covers the legs and arms and nothing else So, like, the ass and titties are out? <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my god, I've been playing way too much Tears of the Kingdom. I keep wanting to press X to, like, climb out faster. So, like, the opposite of a normal bunny suit. Got it. Like, look, I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, he looks like Goldie, but he kind of reminds me a lot of Shulk. <laughs> In the trailer, I thought this was Shulk at first. Make it through. Left flank, good enough. That is definitely yeah. not the case. I want the cat girl again. She's gonna tickle biddies. Whoa, there's booty. Who dis? Damn, Mert. Oh, she was in the trailer too. What's up, girl? How you doing? Oh my god! Oh my god! Not what if off? she's Mithra's the right daughter? Been clean. And the other kid Only is Shulk's left, son. The in the rear. Right. Back to the main unit, then. <gasps> yeah, this kid right Correct. here. Oh my god! Left He's got Fiora's eyes! What's wrong with him? Why is he unarmed? <laughs> Not even a blade or nothing. Didn't Fiora have green eyes? <gasps> Look at his little face. <laughs> Make it quick. We can't afford to waste time on a run like him. Oh. Huh? Oh. T Rex is coming. Explosions. A battle. Yes. It would seem that someone's fighting up ahead. Remnants. It, could it would make be. sense if she's like the sounds and the shaking. Mithra's daughter. I'd say it's rather major. <sighs> but maybe not. Hey, maybe she's Matthew. she's not anybody's kid. I'll go check it out. Don't be a hero. If the skirmish is nothing to do with us. Leave it well alone, yeah? I know the drill. Yeah. Not holding my breath. Let's move it, eh? Can't afford <sighs> to be late. Oh, how you Can we at least go carefully? Yeah, talk about a useless helmet when she's not armored anywhere else. Like, come on, man. It's just for the mystery of the character. That's basically it. <laughs> and you did, Josh. Thank you. What is that? That weapon. Can't be a blade. Did I mention a blade? Oh yeah, this is definitely Shulk and Fio uh, Fiora's son. Has to be. If he's not, then <laughs> I'll be shocked. OMG, it's Pickle! What's up, sir? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Blade and Zenobi three times and just their weapons and some of it. Okay. I'm just like, Blade, don't confuse me now. I'm doing alright, just chilling. I've had a busy ass week, sir. I am glad I am chilling. Like, since March, it's just been a huge shit show. Wait, wait, wait. We, Who's in the head tag? We take this one. How? So long as we can hold the flanks, the colony will mop up. New armament. All went as planned. <laughs> and now it's curtains. Shut up! Damn. Whoa. Oh, it was a faint. He was acting like he was weak. Flipping oh, damn. One. That's kind of fucked up. I thought up. you said you knew the drill. Hold back. It looks to be a feud between colonies anyway. Over there. Is it just those two left? No one else? No one. Mutual destruction. The battle has already come and gone. Then why are they still fighting? It's just who they are. Nothing for us to get involved with. Pull back. Mobius will notice. Oh, come on! Matthew! I'm not just gonna stand aside! 
They're only kids. I'll put an end to it. I have to. Mobius are always present for the aftermath. Then that Mobius is getting a socking. Both of them. Then I'll make it a twofer. <laughs> oh, oh to hell with it. You've been busy too, Pickle. Burnt out. Damn, I feel you, buddy. This now reminds me of when my mom used to put my little brother and sister in the same shirt when they were acting up to get them to get along. I guess words <laughs> ain't getting through to them. Odd. Same energy. You've such a way with words. If they won't listen, I'll make them listen with my fists. <laughs> yeah, let's beat them up. Was that me? No, 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 no. Oh, our fusion. What's up, chat? OMG WTH. Welcome to the stream, homie. How you doing? Mr. Chet Manley himself in the chat. In Future Redeem, the art of fighting with the power of Ouroboros hasn't been perfected yet, but using fusion arts summons the power to create an aura dealing extra attacks. The effects of the extra Ouroboros attacks will differ based on the normal art and Ouroboros power combination. Find your preferred pairing on the arts customization screen. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that means. But we're gonna find out. Oh, okay. So we both have to be powered up at the same time. Stop hitting me! You little stinker. <laughs> what is this? This is the DLC to the game that I was playing. Oh, get her. Oh, that is the coolest shit. Hey, you've got to heal yourself. Shut up. Don't order me around. Here's a double for you. Is this like adult versions? No, I have no idea who this character is, but his name's Matthew. Uh, and then this BZ right here, her name is A. And that's all I know so far. I am hella suspicious that this kid I'm beating on right now is Shulk and Fiora's son. That would be dope as hell if I'm correct. <laughs> like seriously, I'd be so excited. But yes, they are definitely different characters. Chill out, will you? <laughs> he just took him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now fart on it. <laughs> this is the best. What? What are you, goon? I was beginning to think you'd never ask. Uh -huh. I'm Matthew from the city. And this is A. City? Huh? I guess you lot would probably think of us as enemies, but we're your allies. In a sense. Our allies? Our real enemy... It isn't each other. Huh? huh? They're here. Right on cue. Oh shit, who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be a Mobius nice that we already know? our real know? enemies to drop by. You just sit tight while we take care of them, right? Trust me on this one. <gasps> hey, 
Hey, now. Oh. What do you think you're doing? The show was just getting good. And you fully screwed up our wager to boot. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I spoil your fun? You really are a bunch of sickos, you lot. He doesn't seem like a soldier. Who are you? <laughs> My iris. Check it and weep. What in the... Or a bar. A city refugee. Mobius hunter. Mobius hunter? You what? Wait, is that what they call us these days? No idea. I don't recall hunting any. Just cleaning up the mess you always end up making, bailing you out of trouble. Exactly. Okay, anyway. Those two kids over there, they're in our custody now. Custody, you say? <laughs> you sound like you think you can take us off! This mighty pairing of Mobius kill and all! Obviously. After all, gotta live up to our new nickname. Are we really fighting them right now? Oh my god, we are. Okay. No, I wanna fight you. Don't get near my woman, bitch. Come here. You control a dozen Mobius at me for all I care. I'll hunt you all down. I love the music in this game, Josh, for real. Stay away. Come here. We've been iced. Ooh. Hell yeah. Get him. Little bitch. You gotta protect that A. Hell yeah, I do. She'll heal me. I got her back. What a bitch! This dude going down now. It's gonna get both of them. Oh, it did. Damn, she lasered him? <laughs> Was that on purpose? You fucked, Q. Quickly replaced. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. We just gotta smash the core, and the jobs are good. My beloved soldier. He isn't paying attention to you. It's your chance to strike on my mother. Attack! Oh, look at her chest, yo. That's Tyra's core crystal. Whoa, easy now. There's no need to fight me. You play your little game of tap. We'll just pop back home. And once we're here, they'll grill. Nice. Get fucked. I don't normally stoop to this. Such duplicity is beneath me. Stop in the back! What a dirty brute! Crack that yo, boy! <laughs> Hell yeah. That looks like Shulk's Monado. I did check her uh, job title. It's Monado Fencer. That's dope as hell. Oh, did it! Destroy that flame pot, girl! Dude, that's awesome. 
she got both. Just one thing after another, innit? I'm sure you're feeling pleased with yourself. But I wish you'd spare a thought for me as well. You realize, all this takes a toll on me. I know, I know. Brofus? <laughs> Adorable. You coward! <laughs> They're still fighting? Oh, no. Seriously. There we go. What I tell you, one of us should have watched them. You also told me you wanted us to secure as much food as possible. <laughs> yeah, mom, the kids are fighting Ideas? again. Oh, very well. <laughs> I'll handle it. But yeah, if anyone's ever played Xenoblade 1, right, would definitely, out. definitely see that she two. is using Shulk's Monado for sure. Like her own version of it. What? The Mobius, or uh, I guess you'd call them the consoles, right? Well, they're dust in the wind. The flame clocks are in pieces. And your iris clocks, they're gone, aren't they? Huh? <gasps> You're done. No need to fight anymore. No need to take life, or fear its loss. You're not serious. Give it a couple of days for it to sink in. Your life stopped draining. And that means you don't have to fight. All you're gonna need now is a bite to eat. Go on. Wow, aren't we stubborn? It's your loss. Why did you do that? Huh? I was so close! I was so close to finally coming home! I'm not sure I follow. My offering! I was going to give my life! For my comrades killed by this filth! If I could just make it home! It would mean something! That... That's the only thing I've ever wanted! To fight! To come home! And you... You... Took it... <laughs> this fight of yours... Who was it that forced it upon you? <sighs> Think about it. You have all the pieces. Nicole and... Glimmer, right? You're both starving. Can't think straight on an empty tongue, eh? We're talking about Malos, are we? I fucking love Malos so much. <laughs> All those memes and videos you keep posting, Super Gamer Guy. I love that shit. <laughs> so fucking funny. Yeah, I'll save it. Okay, it's all back. I wonder up. how many chapters there are in this DLC. We'll see. We'll see. Kitty! 
Kamehameha! <laughs> Tickle Your bitties! Your power was expertly balanced. Well done. You've both made great strides. Yeah, Kamehameha! But the real battle is unlike anything else. I don't know. You can't just hope for the best. Come at me. Have I seen the Dunban at my door meme? I don't think I have. Maybe. Fucking love Dunban too. Oh shit! Oh my god, it's Gondor! Gondor is named after this guy! Interesting. I'm fucking level one. Her name is Nile. Okay. He's the one that. He was just like, protect Nile. I thought it was. I thought he was talking about Noah, like, and. We saw him in that one cutscene in the beginning. Yeah, look at her chest. New cat girl, Nami? Yes. Oh, I love that shit. Oh, I'm dead. Holy shit, my guy. Damn, that was supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, the core. Look at her. Oh. Well, Nia's kid. Well, don't give me that. That's Nia's kid. That was cruel, Grandad. He's right. Countering the moment we unleash our powers just rude. When your concentration is lacking, the body and spirit drift apart. Only when you've mastered the power of Ouroboros will you find balance. Nay, you will become one with your very selves. Uh, so this incredible power of yours, anyone ever actually been able to master it? Nay. I have so many questions. Knew it. Even you fell short, Grandad. Hmm. My parents, however, it is said that they were a breath away from success. The ones in the photo? Our <gasps> great granddad and grandma, right? That'll have been a proper while ago. <gasps> I bet that's why. Everyone in the city must think we're a bunch of clowns. What? You think so? Yeah, like, get with the times. We're stuck with these wibbly Ouroboros powers. Everyone's rocking those sweet new amps. It really opens up the options for your blade. So yeah, nobody uses the Ouroboros stuff anymore. Nobody thinks we're clowns, Matthew. Wowee, those guys are some real sticklers for tradition, eh? That's about the extent of it. Yeah, but that's the same as calling us clowns. Hmm. It is not. The very reason the city exists is because those who gained the power of Ouroboros confronted Mobius long ago. And it's because of them that lots of soldiers were freed from the system, banded together, and then founded the city. Right? Mm. We must have heard it dozens of times now. Hey? Other kids got lullabies. Wish we could have traded places. <laughs> mm. So are they cousins or brother and sister? I haven't forgotten about how mum and dad died in the last battle against Mobius 15 years ago. Mm. They gave us this. This time of peace we get to enjoy. And you must never forget that, you hear me? The only true end is the moment that you give up. Yeah. So there was... There was more story huh? post-game? So much for our time of peace. I didn't this is know where this. You were. Are you fighting with your granddad again? You can't do that. You promised. You said you'd play piano for us after the nap. Ah, uh, sorry, of course. I'll be with you in just a minute. No, not a minute, now! Oh, yes, all right. I'm at your behest. <sighs> what song would you like? Go a plane! Tomorrow with you! Bring it with Chaos Ultimate! All of them. <laughs> all of them! If I must. From oh my god, Gore Plane. Hey! You can relax. Isn't that Xenoblade 1? I'm on it. I'll protect her, I swear. 
Oh, right. The two new heroes. I was just like, I immediately went into the story DLC. <laughs> so the two new heroes, I'm assuming is Rex and Shulk. I will record that, by the way. I just wanted this first. <laughs> no? Oh. I need... I need Daddy Shulk, man. And Giga Chad Rex. <clears throat> oh, they're the queens. Um, no way. Mm -hmm. That's kind of awesome. Well, um, so... Matthew's fine. <sighs> Matthew... She's gone. Huh? Who's what now? That girl. The soldier from Agnes. Glimmer. Seriously? When did it happen? It'll have been shortly before dawn. Five o'clock, give or take. Oh yeah, five, huh? <laughs> hey! You could have said something. You would have stopped her. Well, no shit. <laughs> this is her personal matter. Even the most impassioned speeches may fail to persuade. Sounds like loser talk. I believe you said something to that effect. Uh, did not. Did too. Like yesterday? I guess words aren't getting through to them. Hey? You said it. Uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh Let's just get going. But where to? After her, of course. Glimmer. If she meets with the colony, she's stuffed. Um, how stuffed exactly? Might find out soon enough. Uh, but not if we can help it. We go in or what? I know. I was so happy. I, <laughs> I was so happy that he's actually said shit instead of Spock. Spock that. So dumb. Matthew, any clues as to where she might have gone? Huh? How should I know? Let's just comb the area, yeah? Leave no stone unturned. <sighs> if we assume she's trying to return to her own troops, she'll likely have headed northwest. That whole area is Agnian territory. It's very probable that a colony would be stationed there. Save for perhaps your hair, there's little need to comb anything. Did you follow that, Matthew? Wow. Hey, you are so clever. Truly, your intellect knows no bounds. So, we go northwest then. You too, come on. You'll be safer if you stick with us. <sighs> All right, yeah, I know that might sound rich coming from me. But would you please just take my word for it for now? All right. He's kind of adorable. <laughs> she needs to brush her hair too. Oh my gosh. Hey, affinity points. Let's go. Luring enemies. Yes, I know. Press up on the D-pad. I've been doing that the whole time. Trust. Trust. In future redeems, some enemies will use special arts when they strike first, indicated with a special icon. Ooh, excuse me. You can preempt these special initiative arts by striking first yourself or luring the enemy into battle. Alternatively, they can be interrupted with combos or reactions. When you have Collectopedia entries you can complete, an icon will appear in the screen's top right. Remember to fill up your Collectopedia as you go to gain affinity points. Heavy-handed as always, Matthew. Top right, huh? Sorry about that. I just couldn't think of any other way to put it. But wait, wait, wait! Oh, cool. He's a tank. Okay, good. He is a machinist. Aw, oh, man. Really? Accessories. Boost damage dealt when attacking higher level enemies by 25%. I... I'm going to unequip that. Can I... Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Can I unequip it? Oh, 
I was gonna put that on Matthew, but I guess not. <sighs> yeah, we have one accessory to share. To share! Oh, you know what? Hold on. We're... Uh, the affinity points kind of stuff. Uh, oh. Oh, I see. So there's seven whole containers in this area. Three relics, three ether channels, uh, five more locations, one more landmark, one secret area. What the fuck are we? Vermilion Woods. Okay. Uh, field crafting? Found all the rest spots. There's one more city survivor. Uh, I think it was down here, maybe? Infinity scene. What was that? Bombastic Rotbart Jr. <gasps> they put the gold boys on the actual map. That's dope. I like that. That's really cool. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Collectopedia. Oh, cool. Right, that's registered. This is Xenoblade 1. I, I like it. The, uh, at least the definitive edition had this. Right, that's registered. Got some AP for it. Thank you. But that's that thing you registered. Like, in the Collectopedia in Xenoblade 1, uh, it would give you, like, the little gems or whatever. Oh, the base game had it too? Okay, that's good to know. Right, that's registered. Collectopedia was the freest rewards ever. I mean, it's not hard. It's so nice. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Gems, armor, and sometimes weapons. Whoa. What's that? I probably could do a unique... What level am I? 777? Uh, Come here, you. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do you. Come here. Little cram it. Whoa, Get him. Quick and painless, thankfully. Nice. Monsters of the world. Beware. Incursion started. The sky appears unquiet. Do I have to fight all the enemies? I think I have to fight all the enemies. Yep, there's ten of them. Come here, bitch. And yes, we do have a tank. That's that's awesome. Oh. oh no, gold boy! Oh shit, we're so dead, bro. <laughs> we're so dead, bro. Oh shit, he's dead. Oh no. So fuck. Oh yeah. Uh, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> Run away. Oh shit, I'm stuck on a rock. Oh my god. Dude! Is the game over? Oh, Nickel has to die first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Die already, dang. Thank you. No shot of turning it around now because of Xenoblade 3's lovely mechanic where only healers can revive. So dumb. I hate it. Dumbest shit ever. Hey, location. Was that the last location I needed? I want the shiny though. <gasps> what you gonna dig up, homie? I want the stuff. Oh wait. Oh, you already did it. Mine. Focus your attacks. It's me you want. Mighty strength. Lightning. Break. Neil. Gotcha. Lord. Revolt. Uppercut. Whirlwind. Out my face. I think that's really the only thing that I could not stand is the fact that I could not revive my homies if I wasn't a healer. That's so silly to me. Both because it artificially makes healers more important to keep alive and because it has no cost. Meaning, as long as said healers stay alive, you cannot lose. I see light. It's an ether charm. We could grab some. Oh, my first one I found. Let's go. Boop. I need to find two more, which I did find one earlier, but it was on a, like a little cliffside, and I didn't know how to get up there. Oh. I need the blue boy. I wonder. I'm level eight now. I am. I'm gonna try it. Come over here, bitch. Kermit Crab, motherfucker. Arboros arts are basically just fusion arts, but Arboros as a mechanic wasn't particularly relevant anyway. Overkill, let's fucking go. <laughs> Quick and painless, thankfully. Uh I definitely don't have that bunnet in my collectopedia. Come here, you fight this one. I don't know how many more of these little fucks I need. Focus your the outcome was patently Sweet. obvious. Get off the rock, damn it! Yoo-hoo! <laughs> I love that. Yoo-hoo! Whoa, wait, it's me, you want! That's a big help! Daddy, Great. go! Dead. The outcome was patently obvious. All right, give me your best shot. Maybe don't take them all on a one. That's a big help. Daddy, Oh. Don't let up now. Lord. This attack is so cool. <laughs> Dead. It's so easy to level. What the hell? I'm level 9 already. Crazy. 
I'm just kind of fucking around for now. Just kind of exploring. Dude, get up the thing. Jesus Christ. I'm going in. You lot watch my back. Try to approach your back. It's me you want. That's a big help. Break! Topple it. Don't be a weenie. Don't Topple it. Mighty strike. Whirlwind. Or not. Don't come back here. The outcome was patently obvious. Wait, what's up here? Give me that. Give me the shiny, motherfucker! Thank you. <gasps> ha! See? Secrets. It's good to explore. Check it out. This will give us a leg up. Give me accessory. Hell yeah. You mean the DLC itself is pretty short? I did have to look it up to see like the completion time and it's about seven and a half to eight hours. Which kind of disappoints me. You don't want wait, 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 what's he gonna Nike. dig up? Don't Carrots. Formation. Way ahead of you. I'll follow you. Break. That's a big help. Wow, you got to 12 doing some side okay. That's a big help. Ooh. Don't come back here. Quick and painless, thankfully. Uh, is there anything else I need out here? Kind of got wrecked trying to do this. What if I try to pull the gold the boy only? Beware! Can I try to do that? Can I do that? I can't say I'm not intrigued. Mm. But someone's oh. eager for a thing. Shit! Focus your attack! Whoa, win! And how my face! It's me, you want! I appreciate it. As long as the gold boy stays yeah. out of this, Lord. we'll be fine. You did a lot more in Torna, but Torna was your favorite to play, so I, probably, I suppose that makes sense. Yes, it does. I still need to finish that, actually. I might have to fight this little fuck first. Come here. Come here, you! Oh, it's nighttime. Mighty strike. It's me you want. I fucking miss. I miss. They thought this would slow us down. That wasn't right. even a now we can pull the gold boy. Come here, bitch. Maybe. 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 Yoo-hoo! Thank you. We're same level. It'll be hard, but it shouldn't be terrible. Could you get your ass over here? Torna's not your favorite game, but it was your favorite in the gameplay since. It made the blades feel a lot more in the battle, so it didn't go so far as you would agree here of having all six fully active at once. That's a big help. Dude, he's looking at him. Launch, let's go. I think that was actually not technically the driver's too late to eat that. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> the only best part is to play as Bridget. <laughs> Hell yeah, mommy Bridget. Yeah, 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 there we go. That fucking happened. <laughs> Maybe if I have like one or two more levels, I could be able to do that, but it's whatever. Oh, is this another heart to heart spot? Whatever they're called in this game? Hmm? Infinity scene. That thing. Oh, I want the blue boy. Give it to me. Hold on. After this. Mobius hunters. Mm -hmm. We seem to have earned ourselves quite the sobriquet. <laughs> Our reputation precedes us. This is no laughing matter, Matthew. Taking Mobius head on is extremely ill advised. If they really brought their might to bear, I wouldn't rate our chances highly. Case in point, our previous encounter with that Cavesi colony. Get it, Matthew? Oh, that? I mean, they came right at us, and we gave them a flick on the nose, right? You went at the colony with your fists and ended up destroying the whole Feronis. And you call it a flick on the nose? Really? Uh... <laughs> she reminds me of someone. <laughs> Ooh, there's another ether channel. I kind of want that. And I can equip accessories. You are correct. You are correct. You're not wrong. There we go. We got not the gold, but the characters, affinity growth. That's what we want. That's what we want. Uh flashing fist. Now the game did say that this is like it goes across all of your characters, so be mindful with what you choose. Yeah, the points are shared. Our boy blew up a whole Ferranis. He's strong. <laughs> strong boy. Um, I kind of like this one. I read this earlier. Starting a battle with an attack from the back grants the whole party fast recharge. So if we, you know, shank an enemy from behind, like, stab, stab. Increase attack by 30, crit rate by 10. Chained auto attacks increase auto speed. Auto attack speed. Okay. Uh, enhance art. Mighty strike, backspin punch, revolt uppercut, raging force, energy boost. <laughs> if we fist them from behind. What do you mean by that? 
<laughs> Fucking love that emote. Bob Ross for the win. <laughs> Increases healing. Did Matthew have that too? No, crit rate. Increases healing, and then... Oh! Why are those question marks? Log rate. I kind of like that. I can get stronger. The result of experience. Crit rate. Okay. Got a new skill. Nicole's a block tank. A block tank. Maximum HP by 400. Defense. Block counter assembly when blocking deals 100% of attack damage to enemy. <gasps> Stronger. Life saving sword heals self when auto attack hits to a maximum of 100% of healing power. Yeah, so he's all about block rate and reducing incoming damage. So he's more of a true tank, not an off tank or an agility tank. Yeah, what's her face from fucking Xenoblade 2? Morgana? Morgana? Was that her name? I'm fuck. I am brain farting so hard right now. I want to do this. Got a new skill. Got a new skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. We have accessories now. We leveled up a few things. Um. Would you Can I get this? Before he attacks me. Show can. <laughs> Never gonna Target beat him up. Quiet. Engaging. Yeah, no time to lose, eh? Shit. Oh, she did it. Good job. He does look angry. She kind of reminds me of um, Mithra's attitude a little bit. Like the more serious. Whoops his ass. Whooped his ass. Oh, see, there's a little ledge up there. We need to go this way. Oh, get the shiny. Hey, he's a rat. Oh, look, there's a container. I'm gonna get it. Monsters of the world, do it! No. Um, is there anything else over here? Oh, secret. Let me have a look. Secrets. Okay. What lurks in oh, shit. Okay. Uh, what if we I just. Oh, we can't sneak by. Mm mm. Nope. Nope. You need 75 more tomes for your new pants? Pantalones. Who needs pants? Who needs pants? No one needs pants, especially if you're home. <laughs> it does sound like she's perpetually annoyed by his himbo energy. <laughs> Monsters of the world, beware! Tired of his shit 100%. He's like about logic and playing it safe. Matthew's all about emotion and rushing in here first. Landmark's complete, let's go. Can't you? I find the behavior oddly familiar. Elevator, we found it. Oh, <gasps> no pawns. I need 
10 charisma and 6,700 different blades to open that container. Oh my god. <laughs> Two was such bullshit. Yeah. Hey, isn't that a Nopon caravan? Yeah. Wonder what they're doing here. They're being adorable. That's what they're doing. Hey there, friends. If you're not going up yourselves, mind at least letting us pass? Meh meh, Jill Jill also want nothing more than go upward. But take a look. Elevator stopped at very top stop. Jill Jill been pressing button until wing hurt, but machine's still not dignified with response. Ah, seriously? Great timing. Tell me, have you seen an Agnian soldier pass through here? Jill Jill did not, but Jill Jill did also pretty much just arrive here. In which case, the elevator may have broken down just after Glimmer took it. Just what we needed. Well, it does look pretty ramshackle. Guess it was a matter of time. Uh, excuse me. Hmm? Could I take a look at the elevator? Oh, sure. Knock yourself out. He's gonna fix it. If they just patched the field skills, it would have been a lot better. Having replayed it, I really enjoyed too, but it's a lot more a knowledge check than the other games. It's a lot harder to brute force. Oh my god. Talking about Xenoblade 2. Holy shit. That game pissed me off so fucking much with the mechanics and how up until the end of the game, they were still giving you tutorials. Why? Stop it. <laughs> Jill Jill is that JoJo's cousin? Maybe. But I have to watch JoJo's adventure or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> right, as I suspected. It's blown a fuse, so the motor isn't working. And the cables melted through from years of poor upkeep. But if I could just fix those things. Oh my god, look at the blue one. So cute. I mean, to be fair, it was a tutorial for a completely optional mechanic most players never use. It's like just trying to match elements when not having the right blade equipped with all the rest of your homies that you had on your team. <laughs> oh, the gotcha, man. That was ridiculous. Where Rex takes hands of both Nia and Pyra. And I mean, I guess Mithra must have taken something else in her hand. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> I, uh, I think I can make it run again. No fibsies? Wow, this lucky day of Jill Jill. Well, you some kind of machine whiz kid? Oh, uh, yes, kind of. How long would you estimate the repairs will take you? The repairs would be pretty much instantaneous, but first I'll need to get my hands on the parts. Any ideas on that front? First, I think I'd like to go back and salvage some usable bits from one of the Pharaonises. Pharaonises? Oh, you mean those ones we wrecked earlier? Yes. The machinery stopped, but they weren't in too bad a state. I think something there will serve. I could also use a few warning lamps. But they're relatively easy to find, so we can go and look for that afterwards. Hmm. Well, seems we have our itinerary for the present moment. Yeah. First on the agenda. Hey, kitty. Coming in hot. Jesus. <laughs> she grabbed his third hand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, first on the agenda, check out the Phronesis for usable widgets. Elevator repairs, let's go! Community 2. The people Matthew and his group encounter in the world and build relations with are added to your community. Adding people to your community grants affinity points. The community screen lets you see a simple profile of each character registered there. You can also check the details of their community tasks. If you complete all the community tasks listed there, you'll be granted the opportunity to deepen the affinity between Matthew's group and the other character. Brownching a brown cow. <laughs> Once you've unlocked the opportunity to deepen affinity, speak to that character and strengthen your bond, changing their icon and community and granting extra affinity points. 
You can press Y on the community screen to begin tracking your character, showing their location on the minimap with an icon. That's useful. If the icon is not appearing, that means they're currently impossible to track due to the time, quest-related activity, or other such factors. Mina, shut up. You're adorable. I need to memorize everyone's names. The movie expanded. The we got Jill begins. Jill. Aw, oh, man. We only have one warning lamp. Are you serious? Well, we're scrounging. And the auto save. Uh. I like it. Not this. Thank you. Got another thirsty oak. It's your rule 34 for Pokemon. Hey, these are <laughs> Just gave myself some heebie jeebies. Heebie jeebies. Oh, nice. It's here. There's one. There's another one. Give me this one. Rule 34. Yeah, I, was, I picked up a thirsty oak. Professor uh, Oak, get it? Right. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> it was a bad joke. Sue me. <laughs> oh. Let's get over. Thank you. Nobody appreciated my joke. Hey, Sam. <laughs> it's okay. I forgive you. Oh. Oh, here we go. Hmm, yes, this should do. Got that circuit board, baby. Okay, well, that's the salvaging done. I've now got all the necessary parts. Great news. Then let's wiggle on back to that elevator. Let's wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, that's wiggle, wiggle. Target wiggle. Best head back for now. Yeah, no. Give me like one more level and I might try it again. I wonder if any of the characters we get in this game are gonna be like an offseer, like Noel and Mio were. <laughs> yeah, he was. Oak was getting it. <laughs> Mr. Mime was videotaping everything. Yeah, it's either him or Mr. Mime. Oh my god. That's terrifying. <laughs> right then, you want to do the honors? Yes, let me have let me have a look. Does elevator look fix fixable then? Yeah, easy. Just a moment, please. It shouldn't take too long. Oh, look at them clap. They're so cute. Field crafting! Okay, field crafting lets you use materials in your possession to assemble useful structures that open up new routes or make exploration easier in other ways. When field crafting, you'll be given the option to either repair or construct. You can repair structures that have ceased to function by using materials to get them working again. You can also use materials to construct new structures in designated spots. Do note that constructing things from scratch uses more materials than repairing existing ones. Once repaired in the field, press the switch to travel vertically up or down. Once repaired or constructed in the field, these can be climbed up or down. Build ladders. Okay. Ether masts. Once constructed in the field, these give you information about any undiscovered points of interest within a certain area. Interesting. That's actually kind of cool.
This will be worth fixing. Whoa. There's nine more things to fix or build in this area? What the fuck? Sure. Chet, gosh darn it. All right, no swearing for 10 minutes. 7.56. You got until 8.06, and then I can say the F word again. <laughs> oh, sweet, it's alive and kicking. Excellent, now I can finally ascend. You did us a great service, thank you. Yeah, sure, I'm glad I can be of help. I know, 10 minutes? Dang. <laughs> Jill Jill also for cannot forget to say thank yous. Now business can resume again. And Jill Jill owe it to friends, so we'd like to return favor somehow. Friends have anything friends need? Uh, that's awful kind of you, but I'd have to come back to you on that one. Then how about this? Give me a big giant no pawn hug. <gasps> what? No Pawn Caravan Evergreen Best Seller Product. Premium grade happy camper gear set. For travelers who always on the go and often sleeping in wilds, this is number one shortcut to comfort. Ooh, wow, looks nifty. I can definitely see us getting a lot of mileage out of this. Are you sure we can just take it? Ah, Jill Jill's just little cog and caravan machine. Would feel extremely uncomfy to leave such debt unpaid and just say bye bye. And not like Jill Jill just foisted it upon friends to clear out unwanted inventory. Pleased to perish thought. And nothing like that. Very well then. I for one would never look a gift armu in the mouth. <laughs> Let's make the most of this. Current trade site of Jill Jill will be Elevator Landing Camp. If friends buy something from time to time, would make Jill Jill smile for definite. Sure thing if we get the chance. Is money actually going to be relevant in this DLC? Jesus. So I had like over 1.5 million gold in like the main game. <laughs> I didn't buy shit. I mean, crap. Oh my god. I didn't buy anything. Sorry, chat. Okay. What say we get up there ourselves, eh? <laughs> The girl will have made some headway in the time we've been delayed. We'd better hurry. Yeah, true. I know. Timer resets. It's 7.59 p.m. <laughs> Ten minutes. We acquired Happy Camper Gear, Veggie Soup Recipe, and Skewer's Recipe. Quest complete! We did it. Thanks to Nichols' technical savvy, the party was able to get the elevator running again. To catch up with Glimmer, you'll have to pick up the pace. Now that you've obtained the heavy camper gear, you'll be able to craft gems and cook at rest spots. Nice. At rest spots, you can use items to craft gems. They can have a number of beneficial effects for your characters when equipped on them, so craft as many as you can. Cooking and eating food at rest spots will grant you a temporary boost to the rewards you obtain from combat... combat such as experience points, loot, etc. Your meal repertoire will expand as you obtain new recipes. It's worth talking to people all over the place and tackling quests to get access access to new dishes. This elevator seems My tongue does not want to work today. La, 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 la. Going up the elevator. Gems hey, to you, like to that. me. You'll oh yeah, you're a beauty. Gems, gems, gems. 